First of all, as you were the last manager to face, Jose Mourinho, just wanted to get your reaction to his departure from Manchester United and some of the criticism of him has been that people have supposedly noticed a difference in his demeanour. Have you noticed anything about him at all? Or? What was that? The last part of the question. Yeah, the last bit was, the criticism is that, he, that maybe he he wasn't the Jose of old, the Jose who went into Chelsea, the Jose who seemed as, as motivated to be the best manager. Oh, no. okay. So I, I really think it's, um, thank God, not my job to think about anything like that. So when I met him, he never changed. Um, he's a very competitive guy, um, very ambitious. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's all. Very competitive. Eh? So that may, but that's with all that he has all my respect. So it's, it's unbelievably successful. And um, I can imagine that the last few months, especially, were not a joy for nobody, eh? and especially not for him as well. It's not nice if you uh, if you get to face all these questions every day. Eh? So that's the problem. But anything else apart from that. Um, yeah, nobody can take away all the things you want from him. No, nothing can take that away. And I, I wish him personally that he has that in his mind when he when he leaves, and not um, a few other things which happened in the in the last few months. Because he is an outstanding an outstanding manager. And about all the rest, I have no idea. No, that you have to ask other people. Obviously, the best to ask would, would be him. And I think the only person who can really say <laughs> what's happened, what happened. Yourselves as well, obviously, Champions League draw the other day in Bayern Munich. Will that ever have your reaction to that? Good. No, it's like, um, to be 100% honest, for that round, it was, there were only two clubs I, I, didn't, I didn't fancy really. It was Dortmund to do to, to it that early. If you meet now from that round on, then it's good for both clubs and we'll see what happens. But um, And a little bit... Um, Juventus Turin because they are for me the absolute favourite of the, of the for the tournament. They are so experienced. It looks like a little bit because of the age group. They are <laughs> the defence is maybe the last chance um, for them, and they will take. They will. That will be really difficult to beat Juve this year. So that was the only two clubs. With all the, all the rest, I had I had no problem. And now it's Bayern, and that's nice for our supporters. I would say it's one a city we didn't. We only played at the Audi Cup. Um, I'm not sure if a lot of Liverpoolians were there, but um, this time they should go there. It's just really nice it's really nice maybe still a bit of snow in February I'm not sure but could be and um, yeah so that's cool um, and it's it's a massive club it's a big 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 challenge for for us the, the good thing is and I like that a little bit I think a few years a couple of years ago maybe if you would have had Bayern Munich it feels like wow no chance and the thing is we have a chance and that's actually enough um, to know and they know it as well we know it's difficult they know it's difficult so that's how it should be two big games 100% when it's nip and talk between two sides at the top of the Premier League how different is it when you've got the opportunity to put pressure on the side behind you and see how they react as so, opposed to what it was last weekend when obviously City had that opportunity yeah, but we didn't think about the City result um, and it's not we don't decide the league at one at one match day, so you have to be consistent. And if you if you go if you always, it's not this last. I, I would really say we are always motivated the highest level. So well, how where can we put this extra portion to say okay? But if City lose, then it makes more. Then we are even more motivated. It doesn't really work. So we we really are concentrated in our situation. And to be honest, we are in December. And I think Tottenham is six points. Oh, that's a massive gap. Uh, we play them still. Uh, uh, and City plays them probably as well. So uh, uh, and then um, Chelsea, Arsenal, even Arsenal, all that stuff. Um, they are they are so close. So then so many things can happen. I should be think now about uh, about one opponent. Like we are the only one um, who can stop City or whatever. It's not like that. This season looks completely different. The first. Only City can stop City, to be honest, um, and not not we. We have to play our own game and um, try to get as many points as possible. That's actually all. No, we can't win anything no, in December. <laughs> Do you just wonder how smoothly these things can carry 
on the floor, with the room that you're on, the way that you're playing, the floor it's and the way the floor and the dancing. If I want that to go on or what, or what was the question? I wonder how long it will carry on the floor. Because I often think, well, it's going well so far, how long can this continue? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. So it's it's really, if you think about Wolverhampton, maybe we should start talking about them. Um, yeah, they'll be playing on Friday. And um, oh, that's an outstanding, it's an outstanding project. Eh? So what they did last year in the, in the championship, I'm not sure that happened too often in the championship. The way they played, usually very often in the championship, you go up with um, with this kind of old school British football. So it's a tough league, and it makes sense to do it. I think the only two teams in the last few years who did it differently were um, Huddersfield and, uh, Wolf and Wolves. So that's that's uh, that's really unbelievable what they did. Then they brought in a lot of players again. So and it needs a bit of time that everything fits on that they are now they are really strong. Did they win the last four? I think so. That's that's a run as well. So um, we have to go there and um, and be really in our best again. So they do they do just a really good job and. Um, I saw, especially the game, it's long ago, but when I saw that the, the City game, and of course City was better and was unlucky with the goal, Wolves scored that day, it was a handball, uh, but the way they defended as a team was actually coming from the football playing side that day, that was really impressive. And so that's the job to do in that week in and week out. First Wolves, then uh, Newcastle, <laughs> Arsenal. It's just challenge, and then City, and then yeah, I don't know who's coming up. I have Wolves again, right? Yeah. So that's that's how it is, and um, no, exciting times, really exciting times. It's, it's good, it's a good moment, but it only worked so far because the boys were always focused on a specific job and that what we will try to do again. Uh, no, no result wise, and obviously not a result in the Champions League. We can say because um, if, yeah, we could have had better results, but not as a result that we go through. No, we couldn't have been better in the Premier League. No, we needed time to yeah to grow again in this season as well. We, we still need that time. That's how it is. But you don't think about that. How can I think in in, in June about or in July about? Um, December. So far, so okay. What I said, that's absolutely okay. What we did so far, but that's all. If we stop now doing the same, and then it's December, and it's a long time until May, and then we speak completely differently. I have no doubts that we will try everything to, to carry on, but it's just it's just the, the, the job to do, nothing else. Just the job to do, and it's it's really nice. The last week was with the two home games, especially with uh, Napoli and Man United, was outstanding for the club. I think it was really. It's long ago there was that easy to be a LFC supporter, like in last week. That was really brilliant and um, so well deserved. And the people really deserved that. It was cool. Uh, you say that it's just one game at a time. I just wonder how much you think about that game on the 3rd of January with Manchester City. In terms of your, in terms of your preparation of the players that will be available to you for that game? I have no clue who will be available. That's unfortunately, <laughs> would love to know it. Um, no, no. Man City is the yeah, 3rd of January. That's the we have between Arsenal and City. It's the longest gap I had since I'm in England. Usually we play 29 and 31st or something like this. Um, this year we, have, we are the, the lucky ones who have that long gap. I think last year was Tottenham or so or, or Chelsea. That's um, now we are in, so we have enough time to prepare the game. So hopefully we can use that time. But there is absolutely nothing to think about. I'm 100% sure that, um, or maybe you asked him already, but Pep doesn't think a second about us in this moment. That's good. Um, as I said we have enough time, and that's always the challenge to to switch on immediately the, the preparation for the next opponent and don't think about the opponent after that. If he would now say, okay. Um, Wolves and, 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 and Newcastle somehow, and then Arsenal and City, these are the games we have to, that would be really dumb. So, no, we don't prepare that game. Anything else on? Um, just on Wolves themselves, um, as you say, they're the only team of Annual course to have taken points off Manchester City. How much has it surprised you just how, how well they've been doing this season in the Premier League? What do you think is the key to their success? 
Oh, it didn't surprise me at all. So I, I saw them, I think, uh, four, five or six games last year in the championship, and they were really impressive. It's unbelievable what they did. Um, and then they brought in all, they had really good business in the transfer market, to be honest. They, they, they kept really good players. I think that they could, and the best that they kept, the it's not, not normal after the season he played. So that was really, really cool for them and brought in good players. So it's a, it's a, it's a round. Team, I have to say, it really looks really good. And then, of course, and the results are sometimes a bit like that. Unlucky here, a bit lucky there. Against City, they were 100% lucky, and they know that. Um, but um, they did really well, and uh, I, I respect that a lot. The way they try to stay in the league is, is special, because usually you try to um, to keep the league somehow, to stay in the league somehow. Just and they they, they do it in a football way, so. That's really that. Um, that's really good, but um, so far they didn't play us, and um, that is a, must be a new experience for them as well. To be honest, we have to be um, really strong. We know that, but there's no reason at the moment why we why I should think we will not be strong. So that's it. But it will be a, a really, a really interesting game, and um, they change a few times system stuff like that. So it will be interesting as well. Um, how they do that, but um, yeah, we have to be ready for everything. Okay. James, and then we'll go to Andy back, James. Yeah, if you start into what you've said about the run you're on, um, you've gone 17 games, league games without, without losing, you've only dropped six points. What is it about the players you've got and their mindset that makes them keep wanting to attain those, those high standards and never underestimating any opposition you face? No, so far we have to. We were not that successful in the past, so to be honest, it, we have, it's not that we are, we are the serial winners or whatever. To be 100% honest, the, 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 the desire I see at, at City after being that um, clear um, champion last year, that's, that's special for us. We have to do it. We are the challengers. We have to do it, but why shouldn't we do it? If, as long as our body gives us all the, the power to do it, we have to do it. And um, yeah, staying focused. Look, it's, it's a mixture of, I think we learned over the months that we have a really good football team. In the, in the summer you, you think it's a really good football team and you see it in pre-season and they come together and, it's, and the season starts early um, in, in already when the players still learn more about each other. So a few players came in a week before the, before the season started and stuff like that. So that all needs time and then from time they see now, okay. Everybody has to perform on highest level because otherwise there's another really good player who could have the place. We don't work with that pressure or threat, but it's obvious. You see it in training. If you play A versus B, oh, that's a game. If they are all in, if they are all fit, that's a proper game. So and um, that 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 keeps you on your toes. I would say that's the one thing. The other thing is, as a human being, and especially as a, as a footballer, you want to be successful and you know what you have to do for it. But sometimes this or that um, are not there in this moment. There's um, no reason why we shouldn't be successful. But it's, we don't know um, if we can be first or second or whatever in the league at the end of the season because there are other teams um, um, very, very good as well. But we will try everything. That's clear. And the, the players understand. Um, that we are, uh, that the club gave us the opportunity to create a group yeah, which can be successful. And on Fabinho, um, he's proven what a great sign he was. I'm I just wondering the same way that Andy Robertson was perhaps held back for a while before we saw the best of him, um, and actually Chamberlain. Is, is that adapting in Fabinho's case to the Premier League, or is there something about your style of play Both. where players need time to, to adapt? Oh, bo both. Um, it's just that they all are natural skilled. They have a few things where they are really good in without thinking about it. That's how it is. And um, But then there are a few things in a game where they just don't feel natural. And as long, as long as they don't feel natural and you have other opportunities, why you should force it then? And we have always, we had always other options. And um, thank God we have other options. And thank God we have more than three good midfield players because otherwise it would just not work. So that, that's, that's all good. It's a completely normal process, completely normal. And for all of them, it's for Nabi still the same. Um, he, uh, what, he, what he did on, on Sunday was just exceptional. 
because what we wanted of him and what he did with it was un unbelievable. So it was really, really good. So it's, even he needs still time, stuff like that. Um, Shaq needs time. That that's all how it is. That's completely normal. It's a bit easier for a centre half, for a defender, to be honest, because that we are not that different. But all other uh, departments on the pitch, uh, we are we give different informations. That's how it is, and then you have to adapt to it. And it was always clear. Um, yes, he played a really good game. And um, like Chini Wijnaldum, yeah? so uh, played as well a really, really good game. And like the other boys in the game against Napoli, which was it's exactly the same importance under pressure, playing that game. Um, we are completely fine, and have no problem to talk really positive about Fabinho. I only don't like if it then here in the back that people say, yeah, and now the others cannot play anymore. So they, all the all players we have in the squad. Are really, really, really good. That is the reason why they are in our squad. And so they will have game time um, in the future, 100%. Andy? Yeah, just on Prince Alexander Arnold, you have a better idea now how long you're going to be without him? It looks actually surprisingly good. Um, I think Wolf still will be a bit too early. But after that, we obviously, that's how they told me we can think about him. But for that, he needs to train. So far, he didn't train. But um, pain goes down um, second by second, which is good. And then um, in the moment when he can deal with it, then he's on the pitch. In the moment when he's on the pitch, we, we make then the decision. But um, no, it looks really, it looks good for Trent. Uh, any other issues after the United game? No, not that I knew. I'm now a bit careful because last time I said about um, Joel Matip, I didn't know about it. But um, um, no, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody told me before the press conference. No, that everything things should be fine. Yes, David. Did you mention him when you really announced that you felt like the last month sort of your team as a whole had realised that you were a really good football team? Is that what, what was part of that breakthrough in, it, in the sense of realising that you? Oh, that's no. It's not. That's just the, the experience we have together, the way we play together. The preseason already after the United game in, in the preseason, we had so many young players on the pitch, and of course they had it as well. It's not that you go out and think oh, the season will be fantastic because we won here today um, or played an impressive football game, but it's, it just was clear that um, the group we had in the preseason. They did outstandingly well. All the young boys they did outstandingly well. So that's the moment when you start realizing, okay, could be, could be good. And then when all the others came came, um, came together, then they had to, to to know to learn to know each other um, step by step. And that's what happened, obviously. Now they are a group, and you, you, everybody knows that. With winning football games helps become a better group, or makes it especially um, easier and quicker. So that's all what happened. That that's all. And um, of course they. They are not blind, they know about football, so they see in training how the things go and um, then you know that you have a chance to win it. But we were, we all know that we were lucky in two or three moments. It was a world-class goal from Daniel at Chelsea, for example, that we didn't lose so far, so we could have lost the game. We were lucky against Everton. We were unlucky in other, in other situations in the season eh, where we conceded a goal which shouldn't have been, shouldn't have been a goal and stuff like that. Um, but. Nothing happened so far. We really think we are in the situation we should be, and I don't speak about the top of the table or stuff like that. We didn't think about that. We are in a situation where we have a big probability to win football games, and where it's really difficult for other teams to win against us. That's what should be, um, and that's how it is in the moment. That's all, and we have to keep we have to keep it going. That that's it, and be prepared for difficulties like we always are in the, in the games. But yeah, it's just so long to go, and you see, you struggle already all about with, with talking not about it. So how about we, if it stays like this, how do we do? How, what do we want to talk about in the next few months? So it's it's just um, it's it's a challenge for all of us uh, to deal with it. And so far, we have absolutely no problem with the situation. We stay focused and try to win the next game. Glenn? Yeah, Jürgen, how has Allison been since Sunday? I know we probably could have done better. You know, we probably. Could Oh, that goal was absolutely no, absolutely no problem. We had a Christmas party on Saturday night. It was good, I think. <laughs> it looked good. And um, 
That's a, that maybe that's a good example. So the, I, I, I knew it before that it will happen. It's so, it's so outstanding so far, and now he made two mistakes, obvious mistakes, where it's clear you lose the ball against Leicester and you, the, the ball dropped. Everybody saw how it is. It was a slippery ball, and then the knee was in the wrong position, and the little ball goes back to, to, to linger. Things like this happen. But um, so for much more important to be in all the other situations there when not in a spectacular way. I'm just. <laughs> catch the ball, you can catch, and these kind of mistakes, they always will happen for all goalkeepers in the world. Um, there's absolutely no reason. If, if he has no problem with that, and I have absolutely no problem with that. And even if it's a more decisive thing, things like this happen. It's not about the moment. It's really about all the things, the good things you can do, the good things you have influence on our game, and that's what we, um, what we know, what we see. So it was absolutely no problem.